Rick Hartley from uh, Biomechanics Healthcare and we're just doing a few um, uh, video series on Achilles rehabilitation and strengthening. Um, it's quite common in runners to have a lot of Achilles pain. There are various reasons from foot mechanics to hip mechanics to neural dynamics to, to various other influences. Uh, we're just going to work on this particular video on, on a, a range of motion in the calf uh, namely for this video um, the gastroc which attaches to the back of your knee and then runs down the back of your leg and attaches into your Achilles and becomes part of your Achilles. Um, so one of the reasons why this Achilles can flare up is a, is a real excessive tension in your calf. A good way of reducing that tension is if you put yourself into a, a lunge position, your back foot wants to point dead ahead your back leg wants to be dead straight, pop yourself into a, a sort of a drift of your hip forwards, support yourself against the wall, so you're almost pushing the wall and transferring that pressure into the back of your heel. So what you don't want is that heel to lift. Okay, so settle into that stretch and just let those tissues get used to the idea of stretching. It usually takes about 30 to 60 seconds of, of just a static stretch to get those tissues ready for, a, for a, some, some more dynamic movement. Okay, so what we're going to do from there is as you've got that stretch, just start to drive your hip just left and right. Okay, so you're still keeping your foot grounded, keeping your heel down, and just allowing the movement of your hips to start to focus on different parts of your calf. Okay, so from there, once you've done your side to side, do that for about a minute. Then you're going to pick your front leg up. Same again, keep that same posture, so your back leg straight, your heels down into the ground, your foot's pointing dead ahead, your chest up nice and proud, and now you're going to start to drive in a sort of more of a rotational um, vector. And again, you'll start to feel your foot kind of distort around the, on the floor. Just make sure that that heel stays down, that's the most important part, and you're still sensing a bit of a stretch through that calf. And again, aim to do that for about a minute, as long as your core can handle it. You don't want to start to drift into it or stick your tush out or anything like that. Just keep it quite strict and then just ease out of that. So that's three minutes on one leg. One static stretch, then a drive of your hips side to side, and then a rotation of your hips for each one for about a minute. See how that goes. Put it into um, action with the other stretches, like the dynamic stretch of the nerve, uh, and the mechanics of the, the nose ridge towards the wall um, and see how that feels. If it's no better, then maybe there's something else holding you back, like the mechanics of your feet or the hips or, or back or whatever, then it's probably worth going to see um, ourselves here or, or your, your healthcare practitioner. But um, it's just one idea that might be holding your, your Achilles back from recovery. Thanks for listening.